Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to copy an array with a spread operator. While slice allows us to be selective about what elements of an array to copy among several other useful tactics, ES6's new spread operator allows us to easily copy all of an array's elements in order with a simple, highly readable syntax. The spread syntax looks like this, and it's just period, period, period. In practice, we can use the spread operator to copy an array like so. So we have this array, and then we have that array. This array is equal to um, true, true, define, false, null. And then um, that comes out to be this, this array. And then that array is the same. Um, what they mean by this is this array remains unchanged, and it's identical to that array. So it's, this basically allows you to clone an array. Whereas if you were to make this array, if you were, if you were to make that array equal to this array, then if you were to um, modify that array, this array would be modified. Uh, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Naming these variables, this array and that array, are kind of challenging. I would call this first array, and then I would call this one um, clone array, because that would make it a little bit more easy to understand. Uh, we have defined a function copy machine, which takes an array and a number as arguments. The function is supposed to return a new array made up of num copies of array. So, yeah, um, we have done most of the work for you, but it doesn't work quite yet. Uh, modify the function using the spread syntax so that it works correctly. The hint is that another method we have already covered might come in handy here. And so the copy machine. So what we want to be able to do here, we're passing in to the copy machine an, ar an array of th three values, true, false, and true, three Booleans. And we want to get two copies of that. And so here we're setting copy machine. We've got our new array. Um, well, I think basically they want an array with copies in it. So here you would want the result of the result of this one should be um, an array of true, false, true, and uh, true, false, true. This is what we would want. Now I'm just putting this in comments so you can kind of see it. So why is that? We put two arrays in there. Is that right? True, false, true, true, false, true. Okay, yeah, here it is. It's saying the same thing. True, false, true, true, false, two. So it wants that in there. So while the number is greater than or equal to one, so if you pass in one, this will run once. If you pass in two, it'll run twice. You because it'll go two and then say wall number is greater than or equal to one. So two is greater than or equal to one. So we're going to de decrement that. And then number will be equal to one. And then we'll come back up and do it again. And so that's how you get duplicate copies of it. Uh, so what we can do is we could go new array dot push the array. And then just use the spread operator to add it there. And so when we console.log, true, false, true. Okay, so what, we're, what we've got going on now is we're passing in each of the values and um, JavaScript is concatting them. So we want to pass it in as an array so that we push on a new array into that array. Do you see the difference there? So now we've got two arrays each time. Now if we were to take uh, it works, change the copy machine here, we can run our own tests by adding this to the console log. And then it works, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works. And that's what we want. So yeah, pass the tests. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.